Say welcome back to our channel. I can be Nana. Yeah. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, All Things Keto with Kelsey. I'm Kelsey and I'm so glad you're here. Now today I want to share part two of my New Year's series and it is titled Why I Love New Year's Resolutions. It's that time of year again that people are getting ready to start the new year and they're faced with the decision of whether or not they're going to set New Year's resolutions this year. In the health and fitness industry, people get a little bit cranky about the New Year's resolutions people and they they kind of talk about how New Year's resolutions don't matter consistency is what's important important and I have to agree with them consistency is important over the long haul of course however I am one of those people who loves to flip the calendar in January and be faced with a blank slate I like to sit down and think about what I want to accomplish in my health and fitness at the beginning of the year, maybe add some things to my bucket list to do with my family, and maybe consider what books I might want to read, as well as taking any trips or vacations. What do we want to do for the year? This video, though, I want to focus on health and fitness goals and resolutions. Something that I would like to touch on before we get started is the difference between resolutions and goals. So I think I tend to clump them together as synonymous, like meaning the same thing. Resolutions in general mean big, grandiose plans for a large amount of time, just kind of like ambiguous, like this is what I want to do this year. And goals, however, as I mentioned in my last video, you can use SMART goals to make more specific goals, maybe more step-by-step -step goals to get to your grand resolutions. So as I go into the new year, I'm making resolutions, but I'm also making smaller goals that are going to help me figure out how to achieve those resolutions. So I kind of do both resolutions and goals. So long-term, big picture goals, but also short-term, more manageable, and just a little bit shorter time-wise. The shorter term goals can be more like SMART goals, which are specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound goals. So that's kind of how I would divide the steps to reach my bigger resolutions. I would um, set up some SMART goals to reach those um, maybe once a month or once a quarter or something like that. Some resolutions or goals that I might have for myself for the year 2023 are, I wanna lose the last 10 to 15 pounds to get to my 60 pound weight loss goal. I wanna to continue to be consistent with my fasting, my intermittent fasting, as well as my longer term, longer um, fasts in the middle of the week, like a 36 hour fast, maybe 48 or 72, something like that. I want to complete a 5K with my husband. Go back to the list of my examples that I just stated of things that I would like to do this year for my resolutions. Um, I'm going to break down what the resolution is and what maybe the goals I need to make in order to reach that resolution. So one of my goals for the year 2023 is to run a 5K with my husband. Um, well, I'm not currently a runner at all. Like I don't run, I walk, and I'm a pretty slow, <laughs> I'm a slow walker too. So. I obviously need to work up to running a 5K, so how do I need to do that? So smart goal for myself would be, okay, I need to start a Couch to 5K program about eight to 10 weeks before I'm going to run my 5K with my husband. We may run an actual race together, or we might just get a babysitter and run three miles together to say that we did it. I don't know exactly what our plan is, but a couple of goals that I need to make in order to get to running a 5k with my husband is I need to complete a couch to 5k program which takes 8 to 10 weeks and then I need to set a date for when I'm going to do that run at the end and I need to figure out what I need to do to make sure that my kids are taken care of and that we can do this together. I would encourage you to focus on some overarching goals as you look into making some New Year's resolutions for yourself. Um, and where you want to see yourself at the end of 2023. 
Also, I want you to take some extra time to think about some maybe monthly or quarterly goals that you need to meet to build up to those ending resolutions at the end of the year. But I love the idea of getting a new bullet journal at the beginning of the year and renewing my mindset at the beginning of the year. I want to think about like how I want to approach um, the new year. Um, planning New Year's resolution is a great time to look at what the last year looked like, um, to see like what you've accomplished in the last year and what you have to look forward to the next year. Um, for example, in 2022, I decided to make some New Year's resolutions and my new, big New Year's resolution was to lose 60 pounds. And I um, look back and that was a crazy goal, but because every month I kind of checked in with myself and I said, this is what I'm gonna do this month. This is what I'm gonna do this month. And I did that all year long, minus one or two months, I think. Um, I was able to lose 50 of those 60 pounds. I think it's really important for you to take a commitment, make a commitment to take those steps toward your overall health improvement. If you're committed to small changes consistently, you will inevitably start to see results. When you start to see those results, the motivation is gonna build up and you're gonna just get more and more excited to keep making progress for your health. I saw looking at myself in January of 2022 and looking at myself now in December of 2022, I am so thankful for the change that has happened this year and I am even more motivated to set new goals for next year to see where I can bring my health to. So I hope that this was helpful as you think about making New Year's resolutions for the year 2023. Do you make New Year's resolutions? I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you're doing for the year 2023. And I hope wherever you are today, you're having a wonderful day. And I'll see you soon, friends. Bye-bye. Hey. Bye-bye.